because all right everybody here's the deal uh, we're having some issues with um, some file allocation stuff so we're gonna go over how to set scratch desks and how to import footage into a uh, folder so the first thing that you'll need to do is find on your hard drive there or on your desktop there is a video drive or it might also be called a video raid it's usually in the upper right hand corner uh, on the newer Mac Pros in the HD suite it's just labeled video drive on the older MacBook Mac Pros it's labeled video raid so you want to open up that hard drive and you want to create a folder for there for yourself inside of there so new folder give it your name in this case Galen and inside of that folder any footage that you have whether it comes from an SD card or a iPad or an iPhone or one of the cameras all that footage goes into that folder so um, you'll want to save your footage or just drag it off of the um, SD card into a folder underneath your name we'll make a new one and we'll just call it raw footage and then you'll drag your footage wherever you have it from into that folder once again everything is on the external hard drive either the video drive or the video raid because if you save stuff on the desktop it clutters the main hard drive up and we have problems so looking at how we do this in Premiere it's probably the easiest to do in Premiere uh, whenever you start Premiere and you see this start screen and you create a new project um, here you'll title it Galen project and the location is guess where on that video drive so video drive go back to my folder there's the Galen folder here's the raw footage in here so I'm just gonna click choose and if you click the little tab below where you just browse for the location there's a tab called scratch disks and they're all set to same as project so everything that you do inside of this Premiere project is gonna save to this video drive over here not on the Macintosh HD we don't want it to go there onto the video drive so click OK and it starts up the Premiere so cancel out of that um, and then from there you can go ahead and bring in your footage all that fun stuff so we are done with Premiere for right now so let's swap over to uh, swap over to Final Cut and see how it works inside of Final Cut so in Final Cut, there's some audio right there. Um, in Final Cut, it handles a little bit differently. It's something called libraries. So if you just save to the default library, the untitled library, guess where it goes? Don't look over here on the right side of the screen, but before you answer, guess where it goes? It goes to the Macintosh HD, and that's not what you want. If you look over here on the right, and after you click the library, and see library properties it tells you it's saving it to the Macintosh HD which right now only has 10 gigabytes left because people have been saving it to that so what we'll do is we'll create a new library to save it to so we'll go file library open library I'm sorry no it's file new library and we'll select the video drive and we'll call this uh, we'll call this one Galen also. I just want to make sure that we keep all our stuff according to our names. You'll see there's already one on here called FOA Team from another class, um, but we'll just call this one Galen. And now if you click this Smart Collection, you'll notice that it's saved to the video drive. Uh, I was mistaken before, this is actually how many gigabytes the project is taking up. So right now it's only taking up 172 kilobytes because there's no media there but the same way we can import media from the Macintosh hard drive I'm sorry not from the Macintosh hard drive from the video drive uh, go to your folder go to raw footage highlight all the clips import all 
And now if we click these, uh, we'll probably want a new sequence also. Or a new uh, project. Actually, it's a new event. I think it is a new project. I don't use Final Cut, as you can probably tell. So, got a new project or sequence down here. Dry these down. And we got ducks on the water. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, gperkins at A-State. And let's just make sure that we are saving stuff to the external hard drive, the video drive, or the video RAID, and not to the Macintosh HD. So, thanks for watching.